and today I'm back with a brand new video. Today I'm going to be talking about college move-in day. The day you move into college. I'm so excited because this was like one of the most exciting times in my life where I said bye to my parents. I was all on my own and as scary as it was, it was also just as much exciting and I'm really excited for all the freshmen this year that are going to be moving in, especially at my school because I know that it's so much fun to be a freshman here at Chapman. I'm a junior at Chapman University and I am majoring in creative producing which is at their film school and there's a lot of things that go into moving in so I thought I would talk about that today as like a college youtuber it would only be right of me to talk about move-in day talk about my experience some tips I have I've divided moving in into three different stages so there is pre move-in move-in and post move-in I don't really know if that makes sense to you guys but it makes sense to me so I'm gonna go through each stage talk about what happened with me talk about some tips for you guys and hopefully it will help some of you freshmen so let's hop right into it starting with pre move-in this is everything we Leading up to the physical moving in to college from planning and organizing all of the stuff that's going to go into your room and just like mentally preparing to be alone and really really weird I remember in July is when I started buying stuff I went online to like Urban Outfitters and Target and like bought a bunch of stuff that I could like pick up at the Urban Outfitters and Target where my college was packing up crazy you don't know what to bring don't bring too much stuff don't overpack that's really all I could say I brought a little bit too much clothing because it ended up going shopping anyway because I live near like the best mall ever and I knew that I would be buying stuff but I had to fly all the way across the country to move in some people can drive um, some people are like in a driving distance to their college some people are like so close it's like in their neighborhood so whatever you are just plan accordingly so just know how much you can fit in a suitcase and how much you're gonna have to buy when you get there because if you are like driving distance you can probably bring a bunch of your hangers and all that stuff from home but if you're flying distance it's a lot harder to pack all of the little small things that you can just get at Target so yeah for me I went to Target I went to Urban I went to wherever and picked up all the essentials all the necessary things with my parents before I moved in so most of it was already bought it was all stuffed in my car that was over here so I had my car here everything was in it, it was completely full I have a picture in it where literally Every single seat is full. I'm the only one that can barely fit into the car. So however you guys do it, um, try to be organized about it and plan it out if you guys have a car or if you guys have to like Uber or like, yeah, you guys are going to be fine. Figure it out. But yeah, pre-move-in, organize as much as you can, make a list of stuff you're gonna need, and then check it off as you go, and don't overpack those items. So if you live in a cold place, don't bring a ton of swimsuits, and if you live in a warm place, don't bring a ton of jackets. Like, you guys get the point, I think. But basically, pre-move-in is all about just planning, being organized. I love to plan, some people hate to plan, so just go about it in a way that's good for you. Now for the actual move-in, the moving in, the process of getting all of your stuff out of the car or wherever it is into a dorm room. So dorm rooms are a lot Lot smaller than typical rooms in like a house so all my life I lived in a house so for like the past 10 years I was in like a huge room and moving out all into a small room was crazy because I have a lot of stuff. I was excited because I actually like prefer small, tiny rooms. Like I love trying to fit everything in there. I think that's really, really fun. But it was crazy because I had so much stuff and I didn't know how to fit it. So during the move-in process, you're gonna wanna have help if you can. So if your family can move you in, that's a plus. Most people I think have their family move them in. My whole family was there, which was a lot of people in the room at once, especially when you're meeting your roommate at the same time. So one of my first tips and something that I actually did was I got there earlier than my check-in time. So some colleges, mine included, uh, will have a check-in time for when you can go check into your dorm. And I went like 30 or 45 minutes before just because like we needed to go. We were like, okay, we have nothing else to do. Let's like just go and see if they'll let you in. And for some reason they did let me in. So it's not going to happen everywhere. It probably won't work every single time, but for some reason they let me in to my dorm early which was really really nice because if you have a roommate or two roommates even then it's going to be really stressful if you're all moving in at once so the fact that i got there early and got a little bit of a head start so when she got there it wasn't as chaotic was a huge plus and so if you guys do have time for that or can possibly get a little bit early do that because it was definitely worth it i know some colleges will plan roommates at different times so that it's not as chaotic but yeah if you get there first choose your bed i was really shy about it i didn't want to like hurt my roommates feelings and cause drama choose your bed it's just how life goes if you get there first it's yours so pick which side you want start organizing your stuff start unpacking my dad was super nice he carried all the big heavy stuff up the stairs i didn't have an elevator when i was moving in so he carried all that up the stairs to my dorm which is really nice and helpful if your family is down for you to give them jobs then 
give them jobs and get them to help you. So my dad was kind of the one that got the big stuff, brought it up, and then my mom and I started unpacking those suitcases, unpacking those boxes into the storage that the dorm provided. So yeah, it's all about just being organized and just staying calm because it is such a stressful time. It's chaotic. For me, it was super hot because my school is in California. So it was like a million degrees. The air conditioning like, wasn't on and my family was all there. My little brother and my sister. My brother was like five at the time, I want to say, or maybe even four. And so that was chaotic, but moving in is really fun. If you have everything bought beforehand and you feel organized, you're going to feel a lot better about it. Um, but it is crazy because you're moving in somewhere for the first time by yourself and and that's kind of more like the emotional like mental side of everything like the physical move-in is like a good chaotic crazy time but once your parents say goodbye and it's post move-in it's kind of like weird like i said try to get everything you can moved in just be organized about it and put stuff where should go one of the things that i got was really really helpful i got like this bookcase type thing to go on top of my desk and that was so helpful for organizing stuff like I could put books and notebooks up there I could put like cute stuff I wanted to hang up up there instead of having to have it like somewhere on the wall because the rooms are so small just keep in mind like the dorm is small the storage space is super small closets are super small so don't overpack don't bring too much stuff just bring what you need and then you'll go from there and other tips I kind of have are just like staying calm I kind of regret like being a little bit like feisty with my parents like when I was moving in because it was just like so chaotic and so I kind of regret being a little bit mean to them because they were about to leave but overall the main thing I say or try to get there early bring some extra organizational stuff try to get a, an idea of what your dorm looks like beforehand so you can plan for that and then just don't pack too much stuff stay calm those are kind of like my top five things for like moving in and then you have the post move in which is after you say goodbye to your parents and you're by yourself and you're all moved in so yeah, for our school, like there was a big orientation event that night that I was kind of like having in the back of my mind the whole time I was moving in. I was like, I need to go like prepare for that. It was like a dinner or something and parents could stay for that, but my parents were like peace. Like my whole family just like dipped right after they moved in. They were like, all right, bye. Like, okay, I guess I'm by myself, especially since I was at a school where I didn't know anyone. So I ended up like making friends with my roommate or with someone down the hall or something. We kind of talked and we started, we went to the orientation event together. It's probably gonna be the same for all of you guys. You're gonna make friends so easily everyone is kind of on their own and wanting to make friends and open to that for the most part so you're going to make friends like pretty instantly and you're going to find people like hang around with for the first few days after moving in so don't worry about that um, after you say goodbye to everyone take a moment take it in because I don't think I did that I was just so caught up in how crazy everything was that I was like whoa and it didn't hit me until at night when I was all alone in my room it may seem scary but it's also so exciting like equally as much because you get the chance to be on your own be independent and just like live life alone for a minute and figure stuff out figure yourself out it's so exciting move in day is the best because not only do you get to organize your room and have so much fun doing that i love organizing so it's super fun for me but you also just get to take a second and realize like whoa like i'm an adult i'm never gonna live at home again for the most part like i don't think i'll ever be living at home again with my parents which is just so weird to me i've moved so far away and it didn't hit me until like literally months later but it's crazy so when you say you got to your parents make it sincere be super nice and then other things for post movement if you need anything else i'm sure a bunch of people will be taking trips to stores in the next few days and you're going to get it all just stay calm you're going to have everything perfect moved in move in day is so exciting i'm so excited for all the freshmen they're moving in this year if you guys have any questions or comments about like anything moving in related for me like personally at chapman or just for like moving into college in general please ask down below and i'll answer because my comments have been working again and i'm really excited because my comments haven't worked since march so the fact that my last video had comments available was like so exciting for me and if you don't want to comment you can always dm me on instagram my instagram is at megan underscore umansky i'm so excited i have so many college videos planned for you guys in the next few weeks can't believe i'm halfway done with school it's the weirdest feeling ever i don't want it to end college is so much fun for all the freshmen out there it's like the funnest time ever you're gonna have the best time and make some of your best friends best memories at school so get excited it's really really fun don't stress out moving in is a great time and i wish all of you the best of luck please leave comments if you have any questions down below and i love you guys so much i will talk to you very soon and yeah bye guys